breath. Meditation is an addiction. You acquire a taste for it. And the result of meditation is ah, ah, the ah which makes gods of us. That's fine. And by now, will tell us about the point of gods and humans. It seems to please us to be able to say ah. So I end up shot through by the voice of God. And here I say, like one un unlikely to be exhaling the ah, the ah. We are born to enjoy the ah. Could, could, could be, be, be is enough for us to mean for what? I don't know. I don't know what I'm, what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. The plant needs water, light, heat, soil to justify being. And could it be that by ah, the ah, the ah itself is what justifies us? There is someone waiting behind one left shoulder to touch us and to make us say ah. When I say I love you. I am loving me in you. I'm not relative. I'm not relative. I'm infinite. I'm infinite. That's why in each being I reflect myself. In each being I encounter myself. 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 In the ah. It's the ah that justifies us. It's the ah that I'm talking about. We were born to enjoy this ah. This ah. The most perfect thing that exists in the universe is the air. The air is the God accessible to us. When I speak of things, I'm not reducing life to the material. Rather, I am humanizing the inert. All of this is as I once said. I play fair. I'm not hiding any cards. And if I have any style, let it come and turn up because I do not seek it. I do not seek anything but the ah. Every birth presumes a rupture, a rupture. I was invited to watch a childbirth, but I'm not strong enough to watch the dramatic birth of a dawn of the morning, morning in the mountains when the sun is all aflame. Every birth is a cruelty. Things that wish to sleep should be left asleep. My wickedness comes from the poor accommodation of my soul and my body. It is squeezed. It lacks inner space. It's what didn't ever let itself be folded into four paws by the pain of existence. That pain which every once in a while we must obey in order to keep living our nice middle class lives. I ask God why others and he answers me, why you? To all of our questions, some God somewhere responds with a greater question, and that is how we broaden ourselves in spasms for a child within us to be born. But, but peace on earth and tranquility and the light in the air? God, God who is the nothing, the everything, sparkling in a gentle glow of an eternal present, let us therefore sleep until next week. And I? Could it be I? Could it be I won't become my own character? Could it be I who will invent myself? All I know about myself is that I'm the product of a father and a mother. That's all I know about the creation of life. We want to penetrate the kingdom of God through the sins of God because if not for sin, there wouldn't be forgiveness. And if, 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 if not for forgiveness, we wouldn't manage to reach Him. I, I took refuge in madness because, because reason was not enough for me. Because I was waiting for something to happen and I wait for what's going to happen. This is my only future and my only past. Comfort is in abundance. One day the comfort in God, and no matter how paltry it is, we must learn that this is from the beginning in the warm shelter of our birth. To be useful and useless is freedom. To have meaning would belittle us. We are gratuitously just for the pleasure of being. And from the future, we will consciously wait for the lack of meaning, of freedom in speaking, in feeling this ah. Happiness is nothing more than feeling an ah with relief and ah. Then, then, then let us raise our glasses and modestly toast an ah to this God. Though it's hard for me to finish, it hurts so much to say goodbye. Doesn't it? Doesn't it hurt to say goodbye? Well, well, maybe because 
in me it hurts. Ah, the ah hurts. So why God? Why God? Why not just sit smoking and dying of hunger? Ah, it's because you want to be able to say, ah, ah. Ah, uh, do we exist simply to be relieved? I pay attention only to pay attention, only to pay attention, pay attention, pay attention, deep, 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 deep down. I don't want to know. I don't want to know anything. Last night I had a dream within a dream. Within 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 this dream, I dreamed that I was calmly watching actors working on a stage and through a door that was not locked. Men came in with machine guns and killed all the actors, and I began to cry. I didn't want them to be dead, so the actors got up off the ground and said, we aren't dead in real life, we're just actors, and the massacre was a part of the show. Then I dreamed such a good dream, I dreamed this. In life, we are actors in an absurd play, written by an absurd God. We are all participants in this theater, in truth. We never shall die. We shall never die. In the big ah, we shall never die. When death happens, we only die as actors. Could that be eternity? Well, I'm searching. I'm searching and I'm still searching. I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to give what I've lived to somebody else. And I don't know to whom, but I don't want to keep what I lived. I don't want to know what to do with what I lived. I'm afraid of that profound disorder. I don't trust what happened to me. Did something happen to me? Did something happen to me that I, I, because I didn't know how to live it, lived as something else? That's what I'd like to call disorganization. And I'd have the confidence to venture on because I would know where to return afterward to the previous organization. I'd rather call it disorganization because I don't want to confirm myself. I don't want to confirm myself in what I live in the confirmation of me. I would lose the world as I had it. And I know I don't have the fortitude for another. Last night I had a dream and within that dream I dreamed of ah, 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 ah. 